right here is the Smiling Peanut. In December of uh, 1974, there was a major headline on the editorial page of the Atlanta Constitution that said, Jimmy Carter is running for what? And the what, the what was about this today. I'm running, I'm running for president. Jimmy Carter entered the Democratic presidential race a political unknown. Outside of Georgia, hardly anyone even recognized his name. But that would change. Jimmy who? Jimmy Carter. Jimmy who? I heard he was a, a, a peanut farmer. I don't think it makes any difference, you know, I mean, whether he's a peanut farmer or not. I mean, there's nothing wrong with peanuts, as far as I'm concerned. You know? I picture him like one of us. One of the working people, one of the common people. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me a great deal of pleasure to present to you the next president of the United States, Jimmy Carter. Sometimes introductions are hard to follow. I remember about five years ago when I was running for governor, and the young man who introduced me had done a great deal of work on my background, and he got up and said, we have with us tonight uh, at that time, Senator Jimmy Carter from Plains, Georgia. He went to Georgia Southwestern College where he studied chemistry. And then he said he went to Georgia Tech where he studied engineering. And then he pointed out that I had gone to the U.S. Naval Academy and received a degree in, in naval science. And then he said he went to Union College in Schenectady, New York, where he did his graduate work in nuclear physics. And now he said he grows peanuts for a living. <laughs> Jimmy Carter's roots go deep into the dark red soil of southwest Georgia. He was born near the small farming town of Plains, but like many young people, decided against continuing the family tradition. Eventually, he ended a promising career as a naval officer to return to the land, resuming the work of his parents and their parents before them. My children will be the sixth generation on the same land. And although I've had a good chance to get an education as an engineer and a scientist, nobody in my family before my generation ever had a chance to finish high school. 
We've always worked for a living. We know what it means to work. The determination, the self-discipline, the pure exertion that helped Jimmy Carter build a successful farming business would also see him through a punishing campaign. A campaign that was marked in the beginning by loneliness. There were no reporters, no cameras, no secret service nearby when Jimmy first walked up and introduced himself to countless voters. This style was unheard of for a presidential hopeful, but for Jimmy Carter, there was no other way. I want to be tested in the most severe possible way. I can't think of any more severe way than campaigning 250 days this year outside of Georgia or entering 31 different primaries. I want the people of this country to know my character my strengths and my weaknesses, my stand on the issues. If I can measure up to what the American people want our government to be, I'll be elected. Jimmy Carter from Georgia. I hope to be your next president. Sue, do you have to go before we go any further? Oh, a two-seater. That's romantic. Last night so far away I dreamed myself a dream Well I dreamed I was so all alone Isn't it nice to be home again I said welcome home Didn't we miss your smiling face Well the sun was nice in LA Sunshine isn't it nice to be home again? Well, I said, isn't it nice to be home again? Hold on to me as we go As we roll down this 
unfamiliar road And although this wave is stringing us along Just know you're not alone Cause I'm gonna make this place your home Okay, this is white sand here, and it was to keep out snakes from the house. Good idea. <laughs> 